Hayax's eye glowed with delight as they took in all the walls of weapons, and so few were recognisable. Hugh and Jameson, what is this? He picked up a long, slender stick. His guide grinned at him, but Hayax's excitement was too strong to cringe in fear, as he had wanted to so many times over the past three hours. That is a Wayfarer Model 2200 Bolt Action Hunting Rifle. It's got a range of 1900 yards and fires 7.62 times 51mm NATO rounds at 5000 yards a second. I didn't understand a single word of what you just said, and I love it. Hank laughed at that. Apparently it was supposed to be a friendly sound, so Hayek's attempted to imitate him. A grating sound emerged instead, causing Hank to pause and purse his lips. Maybe just be yourself. You don't have to try to laugh. Please. I understand, human Jameson, he acknowledged, moving on to his next question. But what exactly does this thing do? I suppose it could work as a club in an emergency. Hank raised an eyebrow. You really didn't understand a word I said, he commented quietly, but Hayek politely ignored the faux pas. It's a gun. I do not know what a gun is, Hayek said. Hank blinked slowly at him, but you have projectile weapons. Um, no, Hayek said. We use the Inchinskia if our ground troops need a ranged option. Those weird giant seagull chickens, Hank responded. What do they do, aggravate the enemy to death? They expel their stomach acids onto their prey. We tamed them centuries ago for transport and combat. Hank's eyes went wide. Oh, okay, he commented. That's kind of cool. But if you can't take anything down without them, then how do you protect the hulls of your spaceships? Ablative armor. Sounds expensive. Oh, prohibitively so. Why do you think only the most trusted and skilled of warriors are seen in the larger galactic community? Ah, but generally speaking, few races even need ground combat at this point. Is this the same for you? Yes? I take it the Chicken of the Sea is more of a status symbol at this point then. Indeed. After ten minutes or so browsing and asking questions of each other, Hyax reached the most baffling item in the collection. Okay, I have to ask, he said, rotating his topmost segment in amusement. All these fancy tools and you still use rocks? Hank was offended. Rocks? Rocks? I'll have you know these are variable payload remote detonation grenades. British for short. They have a blast radius of 20 feet and can switch between fragmentation, flashbang, smoke, napalm or HMX with the press of a button. You can even queue up combo effects if you really want to fuck up someone's day. This time Hayek's actually felt some concern. Human Jameson, that would kill you as well. Nothing can outrun an explosion. Hank paused, then turned to stare at him in wide-eyed comprehension. That's why you weren't understanding guns, he shouted in delight. Hayek, have you ever heard of throwing? The kids game? Only if your shoulder joint is absolute crap, which, granted, you guys don't have much of one. Maybe I should have seen this coming. Anyway, come with me, I want to show you something. Hayek rustled his pseudo pods in mystified defeat, and let the human drag him onto an external field he called the range. Briefly admiring the extremely saturated blue atmosphere of Earth, he nonetheless brought himself back to Hank's demonstration, just in time to see him bend his arm backward at an entirely unnatural distance, and whip the rock forward. The grenade sailed through the air, landing an impossible distance away, and exploded into a combination of heat, light, and shrapnel. And as fascinating as the effect was, Hayek found he could not care less. Human Jameson, your arm! He shouted in horror. Hank just grinned cheerfully as he spun his arm in multiple complete circles. Yup, hue and throwing is the real deal. Nonsense, we have to get you to the hospital immediately. Dude, Hayek, I'm fine, you can check for yourself. I am no medical professional to be sure, but your arm broke off entirely. It really didn't, Hank shrugged. Do not move that arm. Your outer shell is the only thing keeping your organs inside. A quick trip to the nearest hospital, and the lecture on human anatomy by an extremely amused staff later. Hayek was shriveled up in shame and embarrassment. Oh.